YouTube From Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia www.wikipedia.org YouTube is a video sharing website on which users can upload, share, and view videos created by three former PayPal employees in February 2005. The company is based in San Bruno, California and uses Adobe Flash video technology to display a wide variety of user-generated video content, including movie clips, TV clips, and music videos, as well as amateur content such as video blogging and short original videos. Most of the content on YouTube has been uploaded by individuals, although media corporations including CBS, BBC, Vivo, Hulu, and other organizations offer some of their material via the site as part of the YouTube Partnership Program. Unregistered users may watch videos and registered views may upload unlimited number of videos. Videos that are considered to contain potentially offensive content are available only to re registered users 18 and older. In November 2006, YouTube LLC was bought by Google Incorporated for 1.65 billion United States dollars and it now operates as a subsidiary of Google. Company History YouTube was founded by Chad Hurley, Steve Chen, and Jawed Karim, who were all early employees of PayPal. Hurley had studied design at Indiana University of Pennsylvania, while Chen and Karim studied computer science together at the University of Illinois at Urbana-Champaign. According to a story that has often been repeated in the media, Hurley and Chen developed the idea for YouTube during the early months of 2005 after they had experienced difficulty sharing videos that had been shot at a dinner party at Chen's apartment in San Francisco. Kareen did not attend the party and denied that it occurred, while Hurley commented that the idea that YouTube was founded after a dinner party was probably strengthened by marketing ideas that created the story that was very digestible. YouTube began as a venture-funded technology startup primarily from a U.S. $11.5 million investment from Sequoia Capital between November 2005 and April 2006. YouTube's early headquarters were situated above a pizzeria and Japanese restaurant in San Mateo, California. The domain name www.youtube.com was activated on February 14, 2005, and the website was developed over a subsequent of months. The first YouTube video entitled Me at the Zoo and shows founder Kareem at the San Diego Zoo. The video was uploaded on April 23, 2005 and can still be viewed on the site. YouTube offered the public a beta test of the site in May 2005, six months before the official launch in November 2005. The site grew rapidly and in July 2006, the company announced that more than 65,000 new videos were being uploaded every day, and the site was receiving 100 million video views per day. According to data published by market research company Comscore, YouTube is the dominant provider of online video in the United States, with a market share of around 43% and more than 14 billion videos viewed in May 2010. YouTube says that 35 hours of new videos are uploaded to the site every minute and that around three quarters of the material comes from outside the US. It is estimated that in 2007 YouTube consumed as much bandwidth as the entire internet in 2000. Alexa ranks YouTube as the third most visited website on the internet behind Google and Facebook. The choice of the name www.youtube.com led to problems for a similar name website www.u as in u the letter u tube.com. The owner of the site Universal Tube and Rollform Equipment filed a lawsuit against YouTube in November 2006 after being overloaded on a regular basis by people looking for the actual website YouTube. Universal Tube has since changed the name of the website to www.u as in the letter u tubeonline.com. 
In October 2006, Google Incorporated announced that it had acquired YouTube for $1.65 billion in Google stock and that the deal was being finalized on November 13, 2006. Google does not provide detailed figures for YouTube's running costs and YouTube revenues in 2007 were noted as not material in a regulatory filing. In June 2008, a Forbes magazine article projected the 2008 revenue at 200 million United States dollars, noting its progress in advertising sales. In November 2008, YouTube reached an agreement with MGM, Lionsgate Entertainment, and CBS allowing the companies to post full-length films and television episodes on the site, accompanied by advertisements in a section for U.S. viewers called Shows. The move was intended to create competition with websites such as Hulu, which features material from NBC, Fox, and Disney. In November 2009, YouTube launched a version of Shows, available to UK viewers, offering around 4,000 full-length shows from more than 60 partners. In July 2010, YouTube introduced an online film rental service, which is currently available only to u users in the U.S. In March 2010, YouTube began free streaming of certain content, including 60 cricket matches of the India Premier League. According to YouTube, this was the first worldwide free online broadcast of a major sporting event. On March 31, 2010, the YouTube website launched a new design with the aim of specifying the interface and increasing the time users spend on the site. Google Product Manager Shiva Rajaraman commented, we really felt like we needed to step back and remove the clutter. In May 2010, it was reported that YouTube was serving more than 2 billion videos a day, which it was described as nearly double the prime time audience of all three major U.S. television networks combined. On November, October 2010, Google published its third quarter financial results of the year, which stated that YouTube was serving 2 billion videos a week accompanied by advertising. In October 2010, Hurley announced that he would be stepping down as the chief executive officer of YouTube to take an advisory role and that Selar Kamagar would take over as the head of the company. Features Video Technology Playback Viewing YouTube videos on a personal computer requires the Adobe Flash Player plugin to be installed on the browser. The Adobe Flash Player plugin is one of the most common pieces of software installed on a personal computers and accounts for almost 75% of online video material. On January 2010, YouTube launched an experimental version of the site that uses the built-in multimedia capabilities of web browsers supporting the HTML5 standard. This allowed videos to be viewed without requiring Adobe Flash or any other plugin to be installed. The YouTube site has a page that allows supported browsers to opt in to the HTML5 trial. Only browsers that support the HTML5 video using the H.264 or WebM formats can play the videos, and not all videos on the site are available. Uploading Videos uploaded to YouTube by standard account holders are limited to 15 minutes in duration. While YouTube was launched in 2005, it was possible to upload longer videos, but a 10-minute video limit was introduced in March 2006 after YouTube found that the majority of videos exceeding this length were unauthorized uploads of television shows and films. The 10-minute limit was increased to 15 minutes in July 2010. Partner accounts are permitted to upload longer videos subject to acceptance by YouTube. File size is limited to 2 gigabytes for uploads from YouTube web page and to 20 gigabytes if Java Base Advanced Uploader is used. In December 2010, YouTube announced that holders of standard accounts would be allowed to upload videos of unlimited length provided that they have a good history of following the site's community guidelines and policy on copyright. YouTube accepts videos uploaded in most container formats including .avi, .mkv, .mov, .mp4, 
divx dot flv and dot ogg and dot ogv. These include video formats such as the MPEG-4, MPEG, VOB, and .WMV. It also supports 3GP, allowing videos to be uploaded from mobile phones. Videos with progressive scanning or interlay scanning can be uploaded, but for the best video quality, YouTube prefers interlace videos to be deinterlace prior to uploading. All the video formats on YouTube use progressive scanning. Quality and Codecs YouTube originally offered videos at only one quality level, displayed at a resolution of 320 by 240 pixels using the Sorensen Spark Codec, a variant of H.263 with mono MP3 audio. In June 2007, YouTube added an option to watch videos in 3GP format on mobile phones. In March 2008, a high quality mode was added, which increased the resolution to 480 by 360 pixels. In November 2008, 720p HD support was added, so the YouTube player was changed from a 4x3 aspect ratio to a widescreen 16x9. With this new feature, YouTube began a switchover to H.264 MPEG-4 AVC as its default video compression format. In November 2009, 1080p HD support was added. In July 2010, YouTube announced that it had launched a range of videos in 4K format, which allows a resolution up to 4096 by 3072 pixels. YouTube videos are available in a range of quality levels. The former names of standard quality, SQ, high quality, HQ, and high definition, HD, have been replaced by numerical values representing the vertical resolution of the video. The default video stream is encoded in H.264 MPEG-4 AVC format with stereo AAC audio. In a video posted on July 21, 2009, YouTube software engineer Peter Bradshaw announced that YouTube users can now upload 3D videos. The videos can be viewed in several different ways, including the common analytic Scion Red Lens method, which uses glasses worn by the viewer to achieve the 3D effect. Content Accessibility One of the key features of YouTube is the ability of users to view its videos on web pages outside of the site. Each YouTube video is accompanied by a piece of HTML, which can be used to embed it on a page outside the YouTube website. The functionality is often used to embed YouTube videos in social networking pages and blogs. Embedding, as well as ranking and commenting, can be disabled by the video owner. YouTube does not usually offer a download link for its videos, and intends them to be viewed through its website interface. A small number of videos, such as the weekly addresses by President Barack Obama, can be downloaded as MP4 files. Numerous third-party websites, applications, and browser plugins allow users to download YouTube videos. In February 2009, YouTube announced a test service allowing some partners to offer video downloads for free or for a paid fee through Google Checkout. Platforms Some smartphones are capable of accessing YouTube videos dependent on the provider and the data plan. YouTube Mobile was launched in June 2007 and uses RTSP streaming for the video. Not all of YouTube's videos are available on the mobile version of the site. Since June 2007, YouTube videos have been available for viewing on a range of Apple products. This requires YouTube's content to be transcoded into Apple's preferred video standard, H.264, a process that took several months. YouTube videos can also be viewed on devices including Apple TV, iPod Touch, and the iPhone. A TiVo service update in July 2007 allowed the system to search and play YouTube videos. In January 2009, YouTube launched YouTube for TV, a version of the website tailored for set-top boxes and other TV-based media devices with web browsers. 
initially allowing its videos to be viewed on the PlayStation 3 and Wii video game consoles. In June 2009, YouTube Excel was introduced, which has a simplified interface designed for viewing on a standard television screen. Localization On June 19, 2007, Google CEO Eric Schmidt was in Paris to launch the new localization system. The interface of the website is available with localized versions in 31 countries and a worldwide version. The YouTube interface suggests which local version should be chosen on the basis of the IP address of the user. In some cases, the message, this video is not available in your country, may appear because of copyright restrictions or inappropriate content. The interface of YouTube website is available in 30 different languages, including Catalan, Danish, Finnish, Greek, Hungarian, Norwegian, and Slovene, which do not have local channel versions. Plans for YouTube to create a local version in Turkey have run into problems, since the Turkish authorities ask YouTube to set up an office in Turkey, which would be subject to Turkish law. YouTube says that it has no intention of doing this, and that its videos are not subject to Turkish law. Turkish authorities have expressed concerns that YouTube has been used to post videos insulting to the Mustafa Kemal Atatürk and some material offensive to Muslims. In March 2009, a dispute between YouTube and the British royalty collection agency PRS for Music led to premium music videos being blocked for YouTube video users in United Kingdom. The removal of videos posted by the major record labels occurred after failure to reach an agreement on a licensing deal. The dispute was resolved in September 2009. In April 2009, a similar dispute led to the removal of premium music for videos and users in Germany. April Fools YouTube has featured an April Fools prank on the site on April 1st of every year since 2008. 2008. All the links of the videos on the main page were redirected to Rick Ashley's music video, Never Gonna Give You Up, a prank known as Rick Rolling. On 2009, when clicking on a video on the main page, the whole page would turn upside down. YouTube claimed that this was a new layout. 2010 YouTube temporarily released Text P Mode, which translated the colors in the videos to random uppercase letters. YouTube claimed in a message that this was done in order to reduce bandwidth cost by only $1 per second. Censorship and filtering Several countries have blocked access to YouTube, including, as of December 2010, YouTube is blocked in the People's Republic of China. Morocco shut down access to YouTube in 2008. Thailand blocked YouTube between 2006 and 2007 due to offensive videos related to King Bumabul Adulajib. Turkey blocked access to YouTube between 2008 and 2010 after controversy over videos deemed insulting to Mustafa Kemal Atatürk. The block was lifted briefly, but reimposed in November 2, 2010. On December 3, 2006, Iran temporarily blocked access to YouTube, along with several other sites, after declaring them as violating social and moral codes of conduct. The YouTube block came after a video was posted online that appeared to show after Iranian soap opera star having sex. The block was later lifted, then reinstated after Iran's 2009 presidential election. On February 23, 2008, Pakistan blocked YouTube because of offensive material towards Islamic faith, including display of Danish cartoons of the Prophet Muhammad, this led to a near-global blackout of YouTube site for around two hours, as the Pakistani block was inadvertently transferred to other countries. Pakistan lifted its block on February 26, 2008. Many Pakistanis circumvented the three-day block by using virtual private network software. In May 2010, following the Everybody Draw Muhammad Day, Pakistan again blocked access to YouTube, citing growing sacrilegious content. On January 24, 2010, Libya blocked access to YouTube after it featured videos of demonstrations in the Libyan city of Benghazi by family of detainees who were killed in Abu Salim prison in 1996, and videos of family members of Libyan leader Mohammed al-Gaddafi at parties. 
the blocking was criticized by Human Rights Watch. Some schools have blocked access to YouTube, citing the inability to determine what sort of video material might be accessed by students. YouTube was awarded a 2008 Peabody Award and cited for being a speaker's corner that both embodies and promotes democracy. Entertainment Weekly put it on its end of the decade best of list. It said, providing a safe home for piano playing cats, celeb goof offs, and overzealous lip syncers since 2005. Social Impact Before the launch of YouTube in 2005, there were few easy methods available for ordinary computer users who wanted to post videos online. With its simple interface, YouTube made it possible for anyone with an internet connection to post a video that a worldwide audience could watch within a few minutes. The range of topics covered by YouTube has turned video sharing into one of the most important parts of internet culture. An early example of social impact of YouTube was the success of the Bus Uncle video in 2006. It shows a heated conversation between a youth and an older man on a bus in Hong Kong and it was discussed widely in the mainstream media. Another YouTube video is to receive extensive coverage is the guitar which features a performance of Pachel Bell's Cannon on an electric guitar. The name of the performer is not given, but in the video. After it received millions of views on New York Times, revealed the identity of the guitarist as Lim Jung Hin, a 23-year-old from South Korea who had recorded the track in his bedroom. Charlie Bit My Finger is a viral video and has received the most views of any user-generated YouTube video. It had over two 145 million hits as of November 2010. The clip features two English brothers, with one-year-old Charlie biting the finger of his brother Harry, age three. In Time's list of YouTube's 50 greatest viral videos of all time, Charlie Bit My Finger was ranked at number one. Criticism Copyrighted Material YouTube has been criticized for failing to ensure that uploaded videos comply with copyright law. At the time of uploading a video, YouTube users are shown a screen with the message, do not upload any TV shows, music videos, music concerts, or advertisements without permission, unless they consent entirely of content that you've created yourself. Despite this advice, there are still many unauthorized clips of copyrighted material on YouTube. YouTube does not view videos before they are posted online, and it is left to the copyright holders to issue a takedown notice, pursuant to the terms of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Organizations including Viacom, Mediaset, and English Premier League have filed lawsuits against YouTube, claiming that it has done too little to prevent the uploading of copyrighted material. Viacom demanding $1 billion in damage and said that it had found more than 100 150,000 unauthorized clips of its material on YouTube that had been viewed as an astounding 1.5 billion times. YouTube responded by stating that it goes far beyond its legal obligations in assisting content orders to protect their works. Since Viacom filed its lawsuit, YouTube has introduced a system called Video ID, which checks uploaded videos against a database of copyrighted content with the aim of reducing violations. In June 2010, Viacom's lawsuit against Google was rejected in a summary judgment, with U.S. Federal Judge Louis L. Stanton stating that Google was protected by the provisions of the Digital Millennium Copyright Act. Viacom announced its intention to appeal the ruling. In August 2008, a U.S. court ruled that in Lentz v. Universal Music Corp. that copyright holders cannot order the removal of an online file without first determining whether the posting reflected fair use of the material. The case involved Stephanie Lenz from Gadolison, Pennsylvania, who had made a home video of her 13-month-year-old dancing to Prince's song, Let's Go Crazy, and posted the 29-second video on YouTube. Privacy In July 2008, Viacom won a court ruling requiring YouTube to hand over data detailing the viewing habits of every user who has watched the videos on the site. The move led to concerns that viewing habits of individual users could be identified through a combination of their IP addresses and login names. The decision was criticized by the Electronic Frontier Foundation, which called the court ruling a setback to privacy rights. 
U.S. District Court Judge Louis L. Stanton dismissed the privacy concerns as speculative and ordered YouTube to hand over the documents totaling around 12 terabytes of data. Judge Stanton rejected Viacom's request that YouTube hand over the source code of its search engine, saying that it was a trade secret. Controversial Content YouTube has also faced criticism over the offensive content in some of its videos. The uploading of videos contain defamation, pornography, and material encouraging criminal conduct is prohibited by YouTube's terms of service. Controversial areas have included the Holocaust denial and the Hillsburg disaster in which 96 football fans from Liverpool were crushed to death in 1989. YouTube relies on its users to flag contents of videos inappropriate and a YouTube employee will view a flag video to determine whether it violates the site's terms of service. However, this procedure has been criticized by the United Kingdom government. In July 2008, the Culture and Media Committee of the House Commons of the United Kingdom stated that it was unimpressed with YouTube's system for policing its videos, and argued that proactive review of content should be standard practice for sites hosting user-generated content. YouTube responded by stating, We have strict rules of what is allowed and a system that enables anyone to, who sees inappropriate content to report it to our 24-7 review team and have it dealt with promptly. We educate our community on the rules and include a direct link from every YouTube page to make sure that this process is as easy as it is for our users. Given the volume of content uploaded to our site, we think this is by far the most effective way to make sure that tiny minority of videos that break the rules come down quickly. In October 2010, U.S. Congressman Anthony Weiner urged YouTube to take down from its website videos of IMAM Anwar al Awalaki tied to the accused Fort Hood shooter, Christmas Day bomber, an attempted Times Square bomber, and on the U.S. targeted killing list, saying that by hosting al Awalaki's message, we are facilitating the recruitment of homegrown terror. British Security Prime Minister Pauline Neville Jones commented, These websites would categorically not be allowed in the UK. They incite cold-blooded murder and as such are surely contrary to the public good. In November 2010, YouTube removed from its site some of the hundreds of videos featuring al Awalaki's calls for jihad. It stated that it had removed videos that had violated the site's guidelines prohibiting dangerous or illegal activities such as bomb-making, hate speech, and incitement to commit violent acts or come from accounts registered by a member of a designated foreign terrorist organization. In December 2010, YouTube added promotes terrorism to the list of reasons that users can give when flagging a video as inappropriate. User Comments most videos enable users to leave comments and those who have attracted attention for negative aspects of both their form and content. When Time in 2006 praised Web 2.0 for enabling community and collaboration on a scale never seen before, it added that YouTube harnesses the stupidity of crowds as well as its wisdom. Some of the comments on YouTube make for you weep in the future of humanity by just the spelling alone, never mind the obscenity of the naked hatred. The Guardian in 2009 described users' comments on YouTube as follows. Juvenile, aggressive, misspelled, sexist, homophobic, swinging from raging at the contents of a video to providing a pointlessly detailed description followed by a lull. YouTube comments that are a hotbed of infantile debate and unashamed ignorance, with the occasional burst of wit shining through. In September 2008, the Daily Telegraph commented that YouTube was notorious for some of the most controversial and confrontational and ill-formed comment exchanges on the Internet, and reported on YouTube Comment Snob, a new piece of software that blocks rude and ill-written posts.